Number 55, letter A. The pressure inside an alveolus with a 2 times 10 to the minus 4 meter radius is 1.4 times 10 to the 3 pascal due to its fluid line walls. Assuming the alveolus acts like a spherical bubble, what is the surface tension of the fluid? All right, so for letter A, remember we have this formula down here. This relates the pressure to the surface tension and the radius of a spherical bubble, and that only. So this formula is specific for a spherical bubble in terms of relating the pressure to the surface tension via the radius. So I'm going to write that formula down. All right, so we have the pressure is equal to 4 multiplied by gamma, which is the surface tension, all divided then by uh, R. So now what we're after, we're after surface tension, so just solve this thing for gamma, right? Cross multiply here. All you got to do is, I mean, this is the magic, right? Just bring the R, oops, just bring the R up here, bring the 4 down here, and there you go. I mean, you got it, right? That, that's, that's the thing. That's all it is. So remember, you can always do that anytime you have a little equation or you got kind of two fractions, A, B, C, and D. Just remember, you can freely move these objects across that equal sign if you want to think about it that way. All right, it doesn't matter. You can bring this down there, keep it there. All right, you can leave it there. You can bring the B up here. It doesn't matter. All right, you can always move crisscross across that equal sign to solve. Just a quick way to think about it. Anyway, now that I explained that and slowed the video down, even though I said it was a quick way, now we can finally solve this. So this is going to be the radius, so it's 2.50 times 10 to the minus 4 multiplied by the pressure. They told us that the uh, pressure inside, right, which is basically the gauge pressure, which is the pressure inside of that alveolus, is 1.40 times 10 to the times, hold on, times, come on, times, <laughs> times 10 to the third. Pascal, those units are good, and then all divide that by 4. That's going to be equal to now our gamma value and just plug it into the calculator. So 2.5, uh, actually, no, it's not 2.5, it's 2. Sorry, guys, if you look at the top, the other problem, the problem prior, right, said 2.5. Now it's 2.0. So one second, this is, this is going to be uh, changed. Okay, sorry, so this is 2.00 times 10 to the minus fourth. Similarly here, change that value. See, we all make mistakes, no big deal. Anyway, calculate. So two times 10 to the minus four, times then 1.4 times 10 to the third, divided by four. So we get a gamma value of about 0 0.07. And we can do three sig figs, so that's fine. And uh, here we have Newtons, right, per meter. That's the surface tension, those are the units, and that's equal to our gamma value. And that's starting to not look like a gamma at all. It looks more like a mu now, but what are you going to do? Uh, so that, that takes care of letter A. And then letter B, it says, what is this most likely to be? So you got to reference your tables. If you look through it, you're probably going to realize this is closest to that of water. All right. So hopefully that suffices. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.